Hi, you guys. Molly's Artistry here for my last pour of the night. This is, let me see what it is. I really like the pour that I did the other night that was a two puddle uh, tree ring pour or ring pour. So this is a 24 by 30 inch canvas, gallery wrapped. When it's gallery wrapped um, and I'm doing something like a ring pour where I don't necessarily wanna stretch out everything too much if I like the way it ends up, um, I don't, I paint the sides. I don't leave the sides open so that um, if anything happens, I can just leave it the way that it is. So um, I'm gonna do two of these cups. Let me see. This was a used cup before. So I'm just gonna do two cups. I'll put this up here. I'm just gonna do two cups like I did before, one here, one here. I hope I have enough paint. And then I'm gonna do a squiggly line through the middle like I did the last time and we'll kind of see what happens. There's no Floatrol in this. I'm using Ultramarine Blue in Creative Inspirations. I'm using Cerulean Blue in Basics. Using DecoArt Americana and this is Coastal Waters. And I'm using Craftsmart Green Teal. And I'm using my pouring medium and I poured so much today that I am out of pouring medium. So I'm going to, I mean, I have all the things to make it, but I'm gonna have to make a bunch of batches tomorrow. So, hope my camera lasts long enough. Sorry, you can't see the whole thing the way that I have it set up, but I'll kind of pan out. Um, before I do that, I wanted to show you the one that I had done the other day. So that is, what it looks like and it's finally dry and I think it's beautiful. So that one will have to wait to be varnished and then that'll go up in my Etsy store. Um, this is one that I'm currently varnishing now. So this one was actually something, so I'm varnishing that one currently. That one was a try at using a silicone applicator and using golden and I failed miserably and it ended up with cracks. So I'm trying to repair it right now with layer after layer after layer of uh, Liquitex high gloss varnish, which I'm not switching again. That is what I use and I'm using it with a car brush or a car sponge with a pantyhose on it. And that is the best thing that I found. So not ruining any more paintings, trying any different varnishes for now. We'll see. Okay, let me get started. So for a ring pour, again, I have no silicone. The paints are flowing easily. Okay, you can see that. Um, I do have a little bit of white that I'm gonna use. Also, my white is Artist Loft. I forgot to say that, but you see how the paint is flowing? Okay. Um, cause you want it to be able to spread out, um, but you don't want it too thin or else you'll kind of get a muddy mixture. So you want it to be able to hold its shape and then see all the rings. Um, when I layer in here, I'll show you as I go. So the first layer is nothing. It's just down in the bottom. So the first layer just goes down in the bottom. Whatever you put on the bottom, is going to be in the center. So I like a pretty contrasting two colors. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold it this way, I pour down the side and tilt the cup back until it covers. It, I don't want it to sink in. I want it to simply go down the side and then cover the top like that. Same thing here. This one has a lot of air bubbles. I let it sit for a while, but the air bubbles are still there. So I hope that doesn't mess everything up too much. I wanted to put something in between my layers here. This cerulean blue is a muted blue. 
um, which is interesting because my other Cerulean Blue by Creative Inspirations is very bright. One more layer of the dark blue. So I'll start. So I'll do that there. But I really want to end with kind of this darker green color because that's what will be on the outside. Okay, now in my smaller cup. Where's my smaller cup? And you guys feel free to comment and tell me what you like about the videos, what you want to see more of, what questions you have. Um, you know, check out the links below, go to my Facebook, my Instagram, let me know what you're thinking of the artwork. If you'd like to support me, I have a link for PayPal me. Um, if you don't, you know, have the funds or whatnot, please just like the page, continue watching. I hope you're making your own artwork. If you're learning how, um, this is all about creation. So, all right, so I'm going to start, I could have just started with my white, I guess. I guess I'll make two little cups. How about that? If I have enough paint. I save all my popsicle sticks and wipe them off and reuse them and try to reuse my cups as well since it's so much plastic. Um, so here, I'm not as concerned about that for this, them mixing together because I think that'll be kind of cool these mixed together. Oh, I'll do a, this color in there. Get some different lines. Now there's no silicone, so I don't really want cells here in this. I'm sorry if this is a longer one. I don't normally mix my colors, mix my cups while I'm talking to you, but I feel like the, for a tree ring pour, I keep calling it a training pour, but it's really just a ring pour. Um, for the ring pour, the way that you layer the colors in the cup is very important. A lot of people have been saying, you know, my, my rings aren't coming out. I'm not getting rings. And it's because you can't just throw the colors in the cup. The rings happen because of the layering you put in the cup. And then when you pour them out at an angle, all the layers continue out. That's just my two cents. What do I know? I'm still beginning as well. These are just the things. If you like my artwork, these are the way that I get them. So this will be my last pour tonight. I've done a lot of pouring and a lot of varnishing today. I had the day off work. My husband was at work all day, but I'm going to go and meet him for dinner. I miss him. Okay, that's it. So that is probably about 500, 500, probably about 1200 milliliters of paint total for this 24 by 30. Okay, we'll put these to the side. Just like I did the other night, I'm gonna do one here and one here. I didn't mark anything out, but wish me luck. then you're gonna to wanna to start swirling your hands slowly. If you can try to keep your center. Of your ring. I feel like it looks better that way for the final product, but who, what do I know? See now, because of the layering that I did in that cup and I had that blue at the bottom, that blue is gonna be the center. I like these colors, they're more muted. Okay, there we go. You always gotta catch that. Gosh, that cup is pretty. Can you guys see that in there? Oh, so pretty. Okay, these are more muted colors than my kind of electric colors that I had over there, but 
Okay, so I'm gonna go right here. And if they meet in the middle, then more power to them. I really want that color to be my... So again, whatever pours out first, you see how that's pouring out first? That is gonna be the outer part of the ring. I don't like the mixture that's coming out of those right now. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting into solid color. Take your time, pour slow. See, I was pouring a little bit too fast right there. Stay in the center. to get a drip along those lines, but hey, what can you do? Okay. Actually, maybe I, I mean, I have this cup. Maybe I'll just do a kind of a funkier ring pour over here. I'm going to start right here. I was kind of wanting to do this and just kind of play around with that. Just kind of see what happens, you know? Let's see if there's anything left in here that we can scrape out onto the canvas. I'm up for playing. It's just a canvas, right? I don't like it. I scrape it, I let it dry, and I paint on it again. All right, guys. You coming along on this ride with me? Let's. Whew, okay, this is gonna be big, I'm getting ready. I have cells and I didn't want cells. So this is what I'm talking about. So some of this is the Floatrol, the cells that are in these, but these cells, and I guess I can't get you up close enough right here. There are cells that are right in here came from the movement of the paint in these two cups, the movement of the paint when I didn't pour it down the side, straight down. So, so no torching, obviously, on this one because I didn't really want cells. And then I'm going to start a slow, methodical movement. The paint. Just around. In circles. Getting a little bit bigger as I go. Until the paint starts meeting. You wanna make sure that you're going in actual circles or somewhat of a circle. Or else your cells will, or your circles will kind of start to get a little bit wonky like mine are, but that's okay because I had I want to get to the edges of everything, so whatever happens here happens. Oh, I want to take that back a little bit though. Get it going down here. I like that blue. Let's see what's going on over here in this corner. Okay, whew. That is a lot of work. Haven't hit that corner up there yet. So we'll see what's going to happen in just a second. I just had to put that canvas down. That canvas is pretty heavy. Okay, I'm going to keep going over to this side. And it gets much harder. I'm actually going to spin it from underneath now. I 
What's happening, guys? How does it look? Oh, I want to get that corner. Oh, I want to bring that back. I don't want to lose my whole... Don't want to lose my whole... Uh... Okay. Phew. Okay, I like it. It was kind of two that ended up spreading out this way, which is really interesting. Um, and I really like it. Got a couple of cells that I didn't want popping up in there. Overall, I'm totally okay with the with the look of this. You could hang it this way, or you could hang it this way. Um, let me take you down and show you. Ooh, I don't want to touch this. Okay, guys, I'm going to try to take this camera down without cutting you off or losing the camera. Let me see my sides. Okay. Whew. Okay. And that is what she looks like. Got a little bit of a glare from my light there, sorry. Turn you back this way. Don't want my cups. You don't care about my cups. Look at all those little lines in there. Oh my gosh, those little lines are so pretty. So that is what she looks like. 24 by 36, two foot by three foot double tree ring pour with a little surprise over in the corner. So there she is. I wanted to also show you my other artwork that I did from today. That piece, that was like a lime green celly piece. This was two brown pours that I did, brown and aqua and Naples yellow. All of these are on this YouTube channel if you want to see how I did them. Oh, I want you to focus in on this one. My camera is not going to focus. There we go. That's a green one that I did that has a bunch of cells in it. That's a wave that I'm varnishing. That's the pour that I showed you earlier. Okay, I got a lot of stuff to show. There's, this is my friend Nancy's that I showed her how to do the other day. That's another pour that I'm working on. So, that's another wave. So anyway, thank you guys so much. There it is again. I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, check out my links and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to keep seeing my videos. And I'll see you later. Have a great night.